Hey everyone, Adrian Morrison here, and in this video uh, of advanced split testing techniques, I'm going to show you something really cool that I call the ROI squeeze. So we're going to talk about squeezing out every single penny of profit from your campaigns possible. And if you use a free tool provided by Facebook called Facebook Reports, then you can very quickly and easily identify where you are losing money in places you would have never imagined or where you're making a whole bunch of money in places that you would have never really thought about. Um, it just gets really detailed, but it's very, very simple. So all of this is done inside of your main Facebook dashboard and uh, I'm going to exit this uh, slide, jump into Facebook and I'm going to show you how to pull an ROI squeeze on one of your campaigns. So let's dive in now. Okay, so right now we are inside my Facebook ads account and we are going to deep dive and pull an ROI squeeze on one of our campaigns. So basically what you need to do is go into your Facebook ads dashboard and come over to any campaign and just simply click on the one that you want to perform an ROI squeeze on, okay? So we are going to do, let's say this campaign, yeah, this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this campaign. Okay, now this campaign is opened up and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look, focus on one button in particular, okay? so. If we just click over here on this button that says breakdown, it's going to pull up a whole bunch of options for us. Now, talking about split testing, we've talked about split testing age, gender. Um, we've talked about split testing, um, even placement, mobile versus desktop as priorities. And um, I want to show you how to pull like a real serious squeeze on this campaign. Now, like I said, we discussed uh, split testing mobile versus desktop traffic, which you can pull a Facebook report on mobile versus desktop. And, and that's what most people do. You know, they come to this option right here and they say, you know what, Facebook, tell me, are my ads converting better on desktop computers or mobile devices? So they'll click placement and Facebook is going to say, okay, the clear winner here is going to be mobile devices. See, this is mobile devices. This column is desktop computers. And you can see here on desktop computers, I spent $691 to make $746. So the ROI there kind of sucks. All right. But if you look on mobile devices, uh, you'll notice that it's significantly better. It's way better. I've spent $1,600 to make $2,600. So I have about $1,000 profit on my ad spend here. And this is where people go, oh, okay, mobile is the winner. But see, I want to squeeze every single penny of return on investment out of my ads. I want to profit as much as I possibly can, and I want you to as well. So I'm going to go a step further than most people do. And I'm going to come over here back to breakdown and I'm gonna click on placement and device. And here's where you're gonna see something very interesting. All right, we know that mobile versus desktop. Mobile device users are the clear winner. That means our ad is profiting more from traffic on mobile devices. So we could slice that, get away, get rid of the desktop, the ads that are uh, going to desktop computers and just promote our ad to mobile devices. In other words, just monetize mobile traffic. But, you know, there's different types of, of people on mobile phones. And I kind of look at it like this. We know that men and women react differently. They're two completely different types of people. And I started thinking to myself, uh, is there a way that you can further split test? Is there a way that you can break it down even more uh, between mobile users because they're so different and I look at uh, men and women as being reacting to ads completely different from one another even if it's a unisex ad well how about the difference between an iPhone user versus an Android phone user I think that's the same as split testing men versus women if you ask me there's something 
strangely different between iPhone users and Android users. Kind of like people that use Windows on PCs versus people that use Macs. All right, they're different people and they react differently. So when you hit placement and device breakdown, check this out. It's gonna tell you exactly what your ROI is from people using iPhones and iPads versus people that are using Androids and Android tablets. So basically, we're going Apple versus uh, Android here. Now look at this, this is just, it's very, very interesting. So iPhone users, let's look at iPhone users. I spent $600 to make 776, all right? So remember, mobile device users were the most profitable for me, but it looks like people on the iPhone were not really buying at a very high rate. That ROI is okay, but it's not like anything to ride home about. But look down here, people using Android smartphones. I spent $600 to make a thousand, what? That's freaking crazy right there, right? So what we could do basically, if we sliced off uh, traffic to iPhone users, which you can do, is we could double our return on investment and just market this ad to people that are on Android phones. Now, why the heck are people that use Android phones converting at a higher rate and rendering a higher return on investment than people with iPhones? I don't know. It, it makes absolutely no sense to me. And guess what? It doesn't matter. So write this down in your notes. Don't know, don't care. What you need to focus on is, oh my gosh, People on Android phones are almost giving me 100% return on investment. People on iPhones are dang near breaking even. So I could double my profits if I quit showing my ads in this particular case to people on iPhones and just targeted people with Android phones, right? So this is called squeezing the ROI from a campaign. Now you don't have to do this out of the gate you can see that this ad has spent $2,000 and it's been quite profitable for me. But now that I have some data, I can go in and deep dive and do these ROI squeeze type things and really find where the money is. Look at this on iPad users. iPad users are giving me about six, uh, $320 to make 600, uh, about 100% ROI, so that's great. All right, but look at Android users. I don't have a lot of conversions, but I spent $10 and made me a hundred bucks from people using Android tablets. So it is very clear that A, people using Android phones for this particular product are converting at a higher rate, and B, people using tablets are con in general are converting at a higher rate than people on mobile phones. This is a real ROI squeeze here. Now, now that we have this information using this free tool inside Facebook ads called Breakdown, um, which you can use to identify age, gender, and everything else, what do you do? What do you do with this information now? Well, we know what the ad is, well, well I do, um, and we know what we're advertising, we know what our targeting is, now we can go back into our ad, we can recreate this ad again, and we can do it only targeting where we're making our money, okay? So I wanna show you exactly how that's done in the process of generating an ad, okay? So a lot of people don't know about this, and I'm telling you, if you start doing it, it could take some campaigns that were negative and flip them over to a positive, or it can take really great campaigns and with one little tweak can double your return on investment. That is freaking huge right there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back out to my ads account and we're gonna start creating an ad. And I'm gonna show you how to only show your ads to people with iPhones or Androids, okay? So let's do that now. Over here uh, at the top right, we're gonna click on the button that says create an ad. 
All right, now once you've done that, Facebook is gonna walk you through the steps to start creating an ad. So as you know, I recommend increased conversions to your website objectives. All right, so you put in your website of the product that you wanna market. Um, you choose your conversion event. Remember, you got view content, add to cart and purchase. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit set audience and budget. All right, now once we've done this, here's where you're gonna start um, kind of uh, cutting away the fat, trimming the fat, and only targeting the people that are actually making you money. So if we scroll down here, where is it? Uh, they move everything around all the time. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna hit keep refining your audience. Come down to browse, yeah. So you hit browse, and then you click on, I believe it is behaviors. Yep, you click on behaviors. Scroll down and check this out mobile device users click that and you can target people by either brand or operating system so in this case we're going to do by operating system boom check this out you can literally say i only want to target people that are on android devices remember android users were making us double the return on investment that the iphone users were right so what we're doing is we're going to take your ad or the ad that we pulled that report on we're going to completely redo the ad okay you're going to use the same ad copy the same image the same keywords everything the only difference is now that we know that android users are basically giving us 100 percent return on investment and the iphone users are almost breaking even we're gonna cut out the iPhone users and tell Facebook only target people that are using Android phones and then you can come in and you can start putting in all of your keywords right so just so you can see you would also go in and uh, put in the keywords like this right here so you would go to narrow audience and must also match one of these so you could type in nurse and I don't know why all that's coming up nursing start adding in some keywords nursing nursing school I'm just showing you how you can add uh, a bunch of keywords in here all right so nursing attendant there's no uh, method behind these keywords I'm just putting in random stuff just so you know so now we're telling Facebook hey show our ad to people that are on Android devices and also are interested in nursing right so this is called an intersect right with an RY squeeze so what we've done is we have gotten rid of our iPhone users and we have only started hit, hitting people on Androids. Now I want you to watch what happens real fast if I click the X on Android devices. Right now we're targeting 10 million people that use Android phones and fall under these nursing keywords, okay? We're just gonna get rid of Android devices and watch what happens to this 10 million. So we X that out, boom, 21 million people. So we sliced, we had sliced the audience in half, right, by only hitting Android users. So we're cutting out 10 million people, basically, that were not qualified, were not really making us any money because Android users were the ones making us money. Now, do you have to do this? No. Is it applicable on every single campaign that you're running? No. Sometimes you'll find iPhone users and Android users will convert at the exact same rate. But in a lot of cases, I always check this because there's usually um, a difference between the two. And if it's big enough, you might find that you need to redo your ad and only target people that are on Android phones versus iPhones or vice versa. So once again, this is called an ROI squeeze and Facebook gives you all of the tools that you need to target exactly where the money is. So many people don't do this. So many people don't know about it. So many people think it's complicated, but as you can see, 
all I did was use a free tool that Facebook allows me to use. I pulled a report, it took just two or three clicks, and I instantly could see where my money was being made and redid the ad and only targeted where the money was being made. I cut, and I, in this case, I could double my return on investment uh, with that information. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot about it. Uh, I hope that you're excited about the ROI squeeze. And I want you to learn how to be a successful marketer, not just know the basic stuff. That's why there's so many video trainings in here. And the ROI squeeze is one of the coolest videos, I think, and, and the most enlightening. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.